Hello everybody, it's Kruokon Keith here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another pickups video for the month of March and April. Let's take a look. Okay, well I'm a little bit late with this video because we're well into May, um, but I've had a few purchases um, in March and April. Got a decent amount. Uh, so let's get stuck in and I will show you my new additions to my collection. First thing, I got a DSi XL. So it's probably my sixth Nintendo DS at the moment. But uh, it came with a, a load of games, so I was happy to get that. It's in great condition. Never have too much. You can never have too much DSs. Um, let's start looking at the DS games. So I got a couple of US Nintendo DS games, which isn't too bad because uh, you can play all regions on the DS, which is fine, which is good. Um, back in the day, I used the Aura 4 card, so I had a lot of ROMs, naughty, naughty. Uh, but now I started collecting big time for it, and I have a huge collection. So starting with the American DS games, I got Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, which is a great fun game. Uh, Pokemon White version. The new Super Mario Brothers again, but well, it's an American version, so it's it's good to have it in my collection because strangeness. Uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. It's a cool kind of puzzly game. It's really good fun. The Legend of Zelda: Phantom Hourglass for the Zelda fans will like that. I'm not too pushed about it. Lego Batman the video game also good fun. Aliens in the Attic. No real interest. Nicktoons Attack of the Tie Bots, no real interest either. But -da -ba -ba -da, Mini Ninjas, no real interest. I got this Walk With Me thingy, comes with two pedometers. Meh. And now into the regular DS games, these all came with the DSi XL that I got. I got Thor, God of Thunder. Whoops, the daisies are stuck. The Amazing Spider-Man, Lego Harry Potter Years 1-4, to four. Mario Kart DS again, got a, two or three copies that I should really trade them, Asterix at the Olympic Games, haven't played it, why am I, why my nose is so itchy, you know my nose always gets itchy when I start filming, it must be a psychological thing, Worms Open Warfare Classic Team 17, fun. Uh, Power Rangers Samurai, hard to find game. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. No, oh, Lego Batman again. In the same batch, wow. Transformers Dark of the Moon, Decepticons version. I hate that cash in they do when the people fly both versions. Iron Man. Have you seen Endgame? Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about it. It's a great film though, I loved it. Except the magic suits. I hate the magic suits that just appear out of nowhere in the magic helmets. Ugh. Star Wars The Clone Wars. Republic Heroes. Ben 10 Alien Force. Pfft. Crap. Here's a good game. I played a bit of this. Itchy nose! And uh, The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Duel, duels on the high sea, pirates, what? I'm gonna cut my fucking nose off at this stage. And the other Lego Harry Potter, years five to seven. Boom, boom. So, nice amount of DS games there, like quite a lot. And um, I got one PlayStation 3 game. Lord of the Rings, War in the North. Brilliant game, I played that when it came out first. I got one Xbox One game. Looks really interesting, but I, I guess you guys probably some of you find it boring. It's um like eleven eleven memories untold. It's it, let me read out, okay? Mm. On the eleventh hour of the eleventh day of the eleventh month of nineteen eighteen, Kurt and Harry face the biggest decision of their lives. This is the moving story of the end of World War One, a meaningful experience to understand the consequences of war and to never forget. Vice acting performed by Elijah Wood and Sebastian Cock. But it looks really interesting, not really a big gameplay type of thing, and 
the art style is very like watercolor and um, it's an experience as they call it i'm really looking forward to experiencing that and um, i got some pc games let's take a look at them now let's look i got one dreamcast game got this from the power metal gamer this is sort of the berserk guts rage guts rage yeah that's one that i didn't have for my dreamcast collection which i'm saying 80 percent towards a full pal collection uh, so that was nice to get from the power metal gamer also from the pmg i got a few pc games well i got this myself in a charity shop lord of the rings online not even sure if that's still online at the moment PMG gave me Command & Conquer Renegade, which is a bit meh. And he also gave me the Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos Collector's Edition, which is nice. That was a great game. Really like that. And straight after that, World of Warcraft happened. Thank you, PMG. <clears throat> and I got a few Xbox 360 games. Hellboy, The Science of Evil. Not sure if it's any good. Test Drive 2. Unlimited. Test drive unlimited two. <laughs> Boom. Um, Dynasty Warriors Strike Force Crisis Three, which I didn't have, believe it or not. Now I do. Dynasty Warriors Six. Castlevania Lords of Shadow. This is a really cool game. I like it. Hack and slash. And Fist of the North Star. Can's Rage Two. Up to my Wii U purchases and editions and acquisitions. Terraria, which is like a 2D Minecraft, which I've never played, but I'm, I'm not really interested in it. But people say it's very good. New Super Mario Brothers U with Super Luigi. Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush. Meant to be a really great game. I've never played it. I like the Wii U. People don't really give it much, much whatever. Lego Jurassic Park. And Minecraft Wii U edition. I did get Minecraft on PC, and I oh bit my tongue. And I intended to do some videos on there, but uh, yeah, like I never say you know oh, it's a kiddies game because hey Mario is a kids game and everybody loves it, but Minecraft I just couldn't get into it. Anyway, last but not least, I got a load of PlayStation Four games. Let us take a look at them. Wolfenstein: The Old Blood haven't played it so we'll look forward to playing that the crew 2 collectors deluxe edition not really into big sports or sorry racing game fan but you know i'll give it a bash call of duty infinite warfare which includes call of duty modern warfare remastered i know infinite warfare didn't get great reviews wasn't very well received but i will play it at some stage and the standalone version of the call of duty modern warfare remastered that's the collector in me. Just Cause 3. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Siege. Some great games there. Far Cry 4. Oh, and here's one that I, like, I, I don't usually get. So it's Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't usually get games when they come out initially because the prices are just too expensive. And within a year or two years, you'll be paying probably 25% of the price. I don't play new games right away. I've only just played and finished Red Dead Redemption on the Xbox 360, which I thought was very good, or good slash very good. Found it very boring in places. Uh, the action was good. The story just dragged on a little bit too much. wasn't very interesting for me. I know my attention span sucks, but um, it was still good, and I look forward to playing Red Dead Redemption, Redemption 2 because people were going crazy about it. PlayStation VR Worlds, which I already got free with my VR, but didn't have a physical copy of it. Now I do. FIFA 18. Good to have. I don't have it. Assassin's Creed Origins, again. This was super hella expensive when it came out. That was like part of a bargain of a bulk lot I got, so I probably paid next to nothing for it. Battlefield 1, same again. Cost a fortune. Now we pick it up for like €8 Euro in GameStop or CEX. Fallout 4, really looking forward to playing that. Only recently played through Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Didn't care too much for New Vegas. I know that's a bit controversial. People preferred it to Fallout 3. But I love Fallout 3. It was great. And lastly, Firewall Zero Hour for the uh, PSP or which I'm really looking to play. To play. I, I've been looking for it for a while. But I want to get the uh, AIM. No, what's it called? The, 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 yeah, the AIM controller. It's very hard to find these days. It's sold out everywhere. 
Uh, this is meant to be brilliant with the aim controller. I love the PlayStation VR. I think it's an incredible uh, addition to the system. And I'm trying to get as many games as I can for it. So, there are my pickups. Uh, not too shabby. have to find somewhere to put them now. Uh, okay, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you on the next video. Bye. If you like that video and if you like what I do on the channel, please leave a like and please subscribe because it helps very much. Thank you.